The following is a demonstration of the use of Genesis and Design Studio for Genesis by Vanderplatt's Research and Development. Design Studio for Genesis is a design-oriented graphical user interface used to pre- and post-process Genesis data. It allows users to display finite element models and to easily create Genesis data. Design Studio allows users to display analysis as well as optimization results. This video shows how to import a formatted bulk data file into Design Studio, set up and run the normal modes analysis, and then view the resulting mode shape. From the desktop, first I'll open the folder where the data file is located. I'll edit the DAT file just to look at it. It is a standard bulk data deck with executive control, bulk data, and solution control sections. Scrolling through the file, we see property entries, grid entries, some element entries, and the final entry, which is the end data card. After closing the file, we will drag and drop it into the Design Studio icon to open Design Studio. I will adjust the wireframe view of the launch vehicle to flat shaded by selecting the appropriate button at the bottom of the Display tab menu. We will also change one group's rendering by pushing the Show Hide Groups button and only display the payload fairing. By clicking on the Change Visible Groups Only button, we can now make the payload fairing translucent and remove the element edge lines. This allows us to see the payload interface structure within the fairing. In a similar manner, we may also adjust the rendering for the payload interface struts. Now we are able to view the payload interface structure within the payload fairing. We may also go up one menu in Design Studio and turn off the visibility for the coordinate systems to have a nice clean look at the model. Now we will set up and run the normal modes analysis within Design Studio. Select the Analysis tab and then choose Eigenvalue Methods in the drop-down category chooser. Push the New Eigenvalue Method button and fill in the form. Type in Normal Modes for the name. The default eigenvalue method is SMS, which is the VRND Fast Eigen Solver. Other available methods are Lanchos and Subspace Iteration. We will type in a small frequency for V1 so that the rigid body modes will be omitted from the results. V2 is chosen as an upper cutoff frequency. We have now created an eigenvalue method called normal modes. 
From the Category Chooser drop-down menu, pick Load Cases. Push the New Load Case button. Click on the Normal Modes radio button and then push the Next button. We shall run Normal Modes on this model with no boundary conditions, so push the Next button again. Select Normal Modes in the Eigenvalue Method drop-down menu. Then push the Next button again. For saved results, we will choose to post-process displacements and element strain energy. Now push the Finish button and verify that we have created our normal modes load case. From the main menu, pick Genesis, then pick Model Summary. This shows us statistics of the model we have just created. We will now run a Check Data run to verify that the bulk data is correct. If Genesis has a problem reading the data, it would show up here. We shall now change one item in the Genesis Options Analysis Control. To choose two processors for our Genesis run. To run the job, select Genesis from the main menu and then Single Analysis. The Genesis console output window will appear and show us our runtime statistics for the job. Once the job has finished, we can view the output file. Our eigenvalue table in the printed output shows that we have six elastic modes. We may now import our response file by selecting the punch file and then importing it. By selecting the post tab and pushing the deform mesh color mesh button, a list of the results appears. Now we may use Design Studio to post-process the normal mode's results. With the Oscillate Radio button selected in the Deform Mesh window, we may animate each mode by selecting them one by one. Now let's look at the element strain energy for mode shape 2. With the filled contours radio button selected in the color mesh window, the displacement contours may be plotted for each mode too. The Options button in this window allows the user to customize their plots by adjusting the scale or masking the upper and or lower cutoff values for the element responses. 
The More Post Options tab allows the user to turn off the triad, title text, result text, and or the color bar for even more customization. By clicking on File in the main menu, we may save the Design Studio database by selecting Save in the drop-down menu. We may now exit this Design Studio session, but may revisit this model and results by simply opening the DSG database file. Genesis and Design Studio can do much more than normal modes analysis. Next is a brief summary of Genesis and Design Studio capabilities. The Genesis program by Vanderplatz R&D is a fully integrated structural fine element analysis and design optimization software package. Analysis capabilities include static, normal modes, direct and modal frequency analysis, random response analysis, heat transfer, and system buckling calculations. Genesis specializes in structural design optimization. Design optimization is based on the advanced approximation concepts approach to find an optimum design efficiently and reliably. Actual optimization is performed by the well-established DOT and Big DOT optimizers, also from VR&D. Design capabilities include topology, shape, sizing, topography, topometry, and freeform optimization. Genesis and Design Studio provide detailed documentation with the software installation. There are numerous examples and step-by-step -step tutorials to help users get started and to help understand more advanced optimization techniques. For a free 30-day evaluation copy of Genesis and Design Studio for Genesis, please visit our website at www.vrand.com.